So here is one of the most important, powerful, and integratable um, exercises that you can try. For two to five seconds, you relax every story in your mind. What does it mean to relax a story? It means not to focus on it. You relax all focus. It's like relaxing all tension. <sighs> For just two to five seconds, we relax focusing on something. For a moment, we just don't focus on anything. We surrender our focus. We give away our focus. <sighs> no matter what appears, no matter what my experience is, for two to five seconds, I, or you, relax. You relax as you are. You relax and be as you are. That's not a doing. It's a letting go of all doing for two to five seconds. When you're not focused on anything in particular, when you're not defining anything, to relax means not to define anything for two to five seconds. What happens when you don't define anything for two to five seconds is that the isness of life, the as it isness of life, the aliveness of life itself, the very fact that you exist, the mystery of being, becomes self evident. It's like looking into a jewelry shop from the outside in. In in the store of the jewelry shop you see this beautiful piece of jewelry and it's shiny and it's gold and it has a history and it's made of something and it's made a particular way and by a particular designer and it has a price tag on it so there's this whole story of the jewelry there's this whole description this whole cause and effect this whole form shape names definitions anything you can come up with for the jewelry and that appeals to you. You're interested in the story. You believe that the appearance of the golden jewelry behind the window has something to offer you. It has something of interest to tell you about who you are. And naturally then you're focused on it because you're interested in it. What happens if for two to five seconds as you're standing in front of that jewelry shop looking from the outside in through the window You relax focusing on the jewelry. You just pretend for two to five seconds that it just doesn't matter what it's made of. It just doesn't matter that there's even jewelry there. You don't care for two to five seconds. You relax the focus. Hmm. And suddenly you notice your own face being reflected in the window. While you were focused on the jewelry and interested in its cause and effect, interested in your definition about the jewelry, you did not notice that in that very same space of being, your own face was reflected in the window. You didn't see yourself, in other words. You didn't recognize yourself. When you relaxed focusing on the jewelry, when you relaxed being interested in it for two to five seconds, all by itself, your face noticed itself. Your eyes noticed themselves being reflected in the window. Similarly, when we're not focused on our stories, when we're not applying story to our emotions, when we're not defining our circumstances, when we're not describing how we feel and why we feel the way we feel, and when we simply relax all those focus points, 
We just don't bother. We just don't give a damn. For two to five seconds, we relax. We allow ourselves to relax. What happens naturally is that awareness becomes self-evident. Or you could say aliveness, the very fact that we exist, becomes noticeable all by itself because it what you could say it is what remains when we're not focused on anything then the very fact that we are even able to focus or that we have awareness you could say that we are this aware being becomes self-evident when we're really interested in the story of something then we fail to recognize that even though within that story within that tension within that focus we are still that aware being, that's that freedom itself, that aliveness itself, forming itself as a focal point. So even then, even in the story, as the story, we can recognize existence. We can recognize the very fact that we are. We can recognize life itself, aliveness. We can relax into the story, even. So when we relax for two to five seconds, again and again consistently hmm. we befriend this causeless space of being we get a taste of this aliveness we get a taste again and again until we're totally convinced of its total embrace of every experience its total allowance its total inclusivity it's total pervasiveness. It's, and it's not an it that's then pervasing something else. But it's simply the very fact that we are alive that becomes self-evident. The freedom of being, that causeless bliss, which doesn't necessarily or immediately have to feel like bliss. It's just another word. So this causeless being here becomes self-evident. When we stop focusing on things and emotions and thoughts for two to five seconds consistently. And what happens, this works, it's magic, beyond the scope of just being two to five seconds. It works its magic in the sense that it, it seems to work on your system. It confirms to your entire being that which is always already free which is this experience exactly as it is no matter what shape it takes and we become certain of this freedom so much so that we don't even need to worry about things anymore yep even when we do worry when worry arises we're not really worried about it <laughs> because we're so convinced of our freedom You can do this anywhere. Everybody can do it for two to five seconds. Simply give it a rest. Hands off. Don't think you know what you should be experiencing for two seconds. Don't know anything. Be innocent and causeless like a curious, fresh baby. In the midst of your pain and your whole depression and your story and your anxiety arising, suddenly know nothing about it don't have any judgment about it for two to five seconds stop it <sighs> relax relax into the experience hmm. and the isness the brilliant isness of the experience not the form not the name not the story but the isness the aliveness of everything of every experience right here right now the spontaneity of this moment lits itself on fire it it that's why they call it enlightenment it's brightening up it becomes self-evident it shines as itself as its own perfection it shines as this moment when we relax for two to five seconds we notice this more and more and then we find our freedom and well-being not in the story but in the simple choice to relax as we are into our present experience not away from, but into the experience, exactly as it is. We relax all stories. And we 
find that our undisturbed nature is still undisturbed and our freedom is still free and life is still life. Try it. Try it for a couple of weeks. See what happens. See how simple freedom is. It's very, very simple. Love is very, very simple. Relaxation is very, very simple. Anyone can relax for two to five seconds again and again. Hmm. 